Each night, one world-class chef must make it past not one, not two, but all three of my titans if they want to take home $25,000 in cold, hard cash. Think I'm hard to beat? Wait till you get a taste of my triple threat. This week, I'm bringing in a chef that's taken the culinary world by storm. You got the winning in my blood, you know that I never lose, yeah. yeah. She's the first female Latin American chef to ever win three chop titles. Everything I do, man, need to be major. She got her initial culinary training in her hometown of Caracas, Venezuela. Before training in Spain and France with a chef I think you've heard of, Alain Ducasse. <laughs> heard of him. Okay. Just what, probably the best chef in the world. Today, she's the chef and owner of Tupui Collective. Password? Wasakaka. Chef Adriana Urbina. Woo! What would you do with $25,000? It's not a small chunk of change, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm pregnant, so. Oh, OK. Yeah, yeah. Whoa, congratulations. congratulations. I will put money into my company and, of course, my baby. OK, guys, for round one, the ingredients are. Red snapper and mangoes. You have 40 minutes on the clock. You ready? Go. For my first dish, I'm going to do a pan sear snapper with a ajo blanco puree and mango salad. Ajo blanco is a Spanish traditional soup. The base of the soup is heavy cream, almonds, and garlic. So for my second dish, which I'm very excited about, I'm going to be making a snapper ceviche with a green mango Agua chile, which is sauce traditionally from Mexico. It's very, very spicy. I have cucumbers, jalapenos, lime, lemon, and the green mangoes, of course. My plan is to make the mango as important as the snapper and thinking fish sticks and tartar sauce. I'm using mango to create a creamy body for a tartar sauce. I cut three center cut pieces for my fish sticks, and then the rest I cut into tartare for my raw preparation. And then for the snapper tartare, I'm also making a mango brown butter vinaigrette, which is uh, just mango blended with rice vinegar and emulsified with brown butter and a little bit of salt. I totally forgot my mango salad. If I don't have mango on my plate, this is going to be a disaster. I get the mango, I cut it, and mix it with a little bit of the citrus of the aguachile. I just put it on top of the fish, and I add some crispy bacon. Five, four, three. Two, one. That's it, you guys. That's it. Great job. Great job. I'd like to introduce you all to tonight's judge. She's a James Beard award-winning chef, a television host, everybody's favorite Miami chef, Michelle Bernstein. Woo! All right. So dish one is a snapper and rice pearl fish stick with mango tartar sauce and pickled mango. Dish two is a snapper and mango tartare with mango brown butter vinaigrette. Let's move on to Chef B. Dish one is a green mango aguachile with snapper ceviche. Dish two is an ajo blanco puree with celery root, almond, garlic, pan-seared snapper, and mango salad. Here you go, Michelle. One through 10. I don't like this pressure. Michael, your dish is received a seven out of 10. Adriana, your dish is received a 7 out of 10. Oh, my god! Ah! So round two, as you know, it has the same rules as round one. We have to bring it. Oh, my god. For real, for real. You'll have 40 minutes to create two dishes using, Stephen, scallops and avocados. Okay, yeah. Okay, guys, 40 minutes on the clock to make two dishes with sea scallops and avocado. Ready, Brooke? Go. avocado mash with very thinly sliced raw scallops on top. And that whole thing is going to sit in a very flavorful, slightly spicy tomato water. So for my first dish, I'm going to do pan seared scallops with an avocado wasacaca and marcona almond mayor lemon crumble. The sauce has avocados, herbs, lime juice, jalapenos. I think it's in the middle of guacamole and salsa verde. 
So for my second dish, I'm gonna do a scallop carpaccio with avocado mousse, torch avocado, lime coconut cheese, and raspberries. For my seared scallop, I'm making a fish sauce caramel. So I'm starting with some granulated sugar with a touch of water. I'm gonna caramelize that sugar, and then I'm gonna deglaze that with some fish sauce. Five, four, three, two, one. That's it, guys. So you first have in front of you a pan-seared scallop with a wasasaka sauce. Wasakaka. Wasakaka <laughs> sauce. <laughs> and it has a charred avocado as well and uh, some arcana almonds. The second dish is a sea scallop carpaccio with an avocado mousse and a coconut cheese. All right, let's try uh, Chef B's dishes. Great. So you have a seared sea scallop avocado mousse crispy maitake mushrooms, and the sauce is a fish sauce caramel. You have a scallop crudo with mashed avocado, a tomato pepper water, and then on top is a salad of jicama, cucumber, a little bit of radish and cilantro. Adriana, your dishes received a score of five points. So, Brooke, uh, your dishes received a total score of eight points. Congratulations. Adriana, Tiffany, this is the final round. Don't leave anything on the table. It's one single dish, and most importantly, double the points. No pressure. So anything is possible. OK, Adriana, what is our round three ingredients? OK. We have some dry purple corn and heart of palm. Okay. You guys ready? Yes. Go. Woo! Go, Tiffany! So for this round, I'm making duck breast with chita morada reduction and heart of palm two ways. So first thing I'm doing, because it's gonna take a long time, is my chita morada in the pressure cooker. Chicha morada is a traditional Peruvian drink made out of purple corn, pineapple, apples, spices. If I could grind the purple corn, I could crust the halibut. Oh, she's blending it. It's not really flavor, but it's texture. But let's be real, dry corn has no flavor. It doesn't. So my guess is purple corn crusted halibut. Tiffany, is that what you're doing? Yeah, doggy, yes. Yes. <laughs> I take my pressure cooker out of the flame. I was going to release the steam. It's not working. I don't have time to panic. So I'm going to take the liquid out of the pressure cooker. I'm going to strain it, add a smaller quantity in a small pan to reduce it down so that's going to go faster. Five, four, three, two, uh, one. Uh, All right, start the cooking. Okay. We're going to start with Chef A. It's a seared duck breast with a purple corn chicha morada reduction, a heart of palm salad, and heart of palms filled with cream of hearts of palm. For the second dish, you have a purple corn crusted halibut with cream corn and a hearts of palm salad. Adriana, I found that your dish was almost like a history lesson. Just really thoughtful flavors and touches to the dish. You are a beautifully creative chef. For this round, I gave your dish 15 points. Tiffany, your fish was cooked perfectly. The sweetness from the corn with the brightness from the salad was really nice. Thank you, chef. Tiffany. I gave your dish 17 points. So unfortunately, Adriana, the, the Titans have managed to block you from $25,000, but you should be so proud. You did an amazing job. I'm very proud of myself. This is not the last time you're gonna see me cooking with this passion, and I have no regrets. I'm leaving this competition happy and, and proud. And I think that's, that, that's what matters. Who's ready for a nightcap?